Okay, I'm going to start over with this again, but um, essentially this is the HP Z600 system that I just got done uh, building or setting up for somebody that uh, um, I got to, you know, pack it away and ship it to them. But uh, um, before that I did that, I was going to make a quick video on this process, but what it is is actually a, um, a Hackintosh system on an HP Z600. Um, and the HP Z600s are, you know, basically an old workstation. It's pretty much a decade old, um, but it, it has, you know, dual Xeon processors, X57 or 5675 processors, which are six core um, a piece, so 12 cores um, or 24 cores virtually. Um, and to that, I basically just have a basic NVIDIA GT740 card. I updated the uh, USB to USB 3 with this car 4 port card. Um, and then basically this is uh, the uh, S SATA or SSD N uh, NVE um, boot card. So essentially it's a card that looks like this. Yeah, basically this is a SATA card, but you know, they can be different lengths and different sizes. Um, you basically just plug in the SSD card. On the, the card that's actually in there, um, this SSD is actually 128 gigabytes, and then the NVE is 500 gigabytes. So um, that's what I have. Um, it's a dual boot system. So I'm actually going to just turn it on here. It, it's, it's dual boot, so it actually boots Windows 10 and uh, Mac OS, Big Sur, latest version whatever that is I just don't remember but um essentially uh, like I say it's a dual boot system uh, the reason you have to use a card like this is basically because the SSD is, is the only way you can actually make it boot um, into Mac OS or into uh, Windows so essentially what happens on this system is that um, the 128-gigabyte SSD card is actually divided in half, um, and on half of that card, it actually has just enough space for 64 gigabytes to install uh, Mac OS, and that's just basically just to boot this whole system. It basically has a whole backup copy of Mac OS, and it really just it only boots, um, you know, does the initial load off of, it, and then you know passes everything on to the NV, you know, so. Um, once the, the Mac OS is loaded on the computer, it's running completely off of uh, the NVE, NVE card. So um, everything is mostly set up and working fine, except, let's see, I get this error message up here, which is basically because uh, the system is actually configured as Mac Pro. Mac Pros actually have a different memory layout than basically uh, HP Z600 will. So, you know, she basically pops up with that error message saying that, you know, there's, you know, the memory arrangement in the computer is all wrong and it's not, you know, it's just wrong. And so, or, you know, according to what they think it is. So, um, I just have to, you know, get rid of that message. Um, otherwise, uh, the only thing that's shown right now on the desktop is the NVE card that I have a uh, um, Mac OS installed on. This is actually, like I say, it was 512 gigabytes, or 519 gigabytes um, there for the NVMe uh, card. And that's actually what it's actually booting off of. So even though you have two, you know, two cards on there, one's SSD and one's NVMe, um, it's only booting off of the NVMe and actually basically functioning off of the NVMe after it's fully loaded. So um, I can show you here that uh, I don't have this selected, so I don't actually, you know, the hard disks aren't shown, which I probably, I don't know, my, you know, the, um, there is some value in actually having this. This is actually the physical mechanical hard disk that's in the computer. 
which is in any one of these bays, 500 gigabytes um, running off the uh, system bus, which is um, the SATA 3, or not SATA 3, but it's basically 3 megabits per second. It's not the, you know, the, the newest standard or SATA, you know, 6 megabits per second or gigabits per second. So, um, but it basically, that it's just, I just called it data because it's basically just a backup or storage disk. Um, this second copy is of uh, Mac OS is actually the one that I was telling you about. Uh, on the SSD, there's 64 gigabytes for Mac OS, which is, you know, all I needed to basically install it. But it's really only a backup because it's only initially boots off of it and then passes everything on to the NVMe card. Um, this is actually the uh, Windows hard disk, um, which, you know, is Windows 10, is, you know, like a part of the dual boot system. So, um, so about this Macintosh, you know, it's the uh, 2X processors, you know, the Xeon process, six cores. Um, just a second, I'm going to squeeze a little closer here. Memory, 32 gigabytes. Startup disk is Mac OS, but that doesn't make a lot of sense because they're both, um, the NVMe and the SSD are both called Mac OS. Um, the NVIDIA, NVIDIA card. Um, this actually has uh, one unique feature that most computers don't have, and it has a FireWire uh, port on the front of it, which I've never really found any use for, but, you know, I... You know, I think that it's actually used, you know, on some um, uh, Mac hardware, which you know, literally, you know, had uh, a Mac computer um, for very long, but I've made them a lot of Hackintoshes. So, um, but I believe that basically the, you know, the FireWire uh, drivers are loaded and in, in theory it would actually work. So, um, and, you know, so in a, in a system like this, it could potentially be a pretty decent um, video editing or um, audio editing or processing, you know, computer being, you know, it works completely off of NVMe drives. Um, and then it also has capacity to uh, upgrade it. Um, this also supports SAS drives, which are actually, you know, um, more enterprise um designed the hard drives that actually work faster for both read and write and um and they're designed to you know last a lot longer than uh, a tra traditional SATA drive um and so in theory you, you know you might be able to get you know install a SATA uh, uh, upgraded SAS card in here a uh, you know for um that supports SATA 6 also and then, you know, maybe be able to, you know, get the drivers loaded for um, SAS and Mac OS, but I don't know. But essentially, you probably could get it by with, you know, just a couple of SATA drives and possibly upgrading the, you know, the uh, digital drives that are in there. The MV could be much larger. Um, you know, the, I don't know if, you know, they necessarily need to have a much larger SSD drive because... Um, if you just need to, you know, worry about a booting, you can possibly install everything you want on the, on the, uh, NVMe card and, you know, basically finesse everything to work as you want it just from the NVMe card. But anyway, um, so you can see that Mac OS works off of the, you know, the, the card, but like I say, it's a dual boot system. Really, the uh, where I got this idea to even try this was from a uh, you know YouTube video where I um, can't remember the name of the channel, but basically what they do is they you know they promote um, systems like this as gaming systems, HP Z six hundreds and eight hundreds, and and uh, they also you know have uh, several Dell systems that have Xeon processors that they promote. And the reality is, if you were going to use something like that, really the only thing you may need to, you know, do is actually, uh, you know, obviously uh, have a much better, faster video card in the in the system. Uh, you know, maybe up the the memory, and it would probably still make a real good um, working 
system booting off, you know, entirely off of NVMe like, uh, uh, you know, the Mac OS does. But, you know, this is actually, the Windows is actually booting off the SSD because I had to use up that, use this, you know, that extra space on the SSD card. So I just basically used, the, you know, the, the 64 gigabytes, which isn't a lot to um, install Windows 10. So this is just basically a you know basic you know installation of Windows 10, um, in the dual boot configuration working on uh, the non-traditional computer system. Um, you can actually install Windows 11 on uh, the you know the same system, but uh, I haven't done it um, as a dual boot with Mac OS yet. Um, but I have done it as a you know a separate uh, operating system on here. Uh, but with Windows 11, you have to have to do a few tweaks, you know, with the registry in order to get you know the install process to start. But once it does, you know, basically it installs and works fine. So um, the whole point is that um, what happens with this, this is it by using the SSD. It re it's required to use this SSD because it can't even read. An NVMe uh, card at boot up, and so what it does is actually passes the whole boot process to the NVMe card after you know uh, initially loading uh, uh, itself off of the SSD, and then that also allows you know, like I say, uh, GPT and uh, EFI uh, system you know, functionality on, you know, these hard disks, which, you know, that no, wouldn't normally be supported by this system. Um, all it needs is basically, uh, you know, a bootable uh, partition, you know, SSD that actually can uh, recognize the NVMe after it boots so that it actually can utilize it for, um, um, for loading of a, uh, an operating system or whatever. So, um, in theory, if I was doing like Windows 11, you know, I could use this, you know, this little teeny uh, NVMe, um, or not NVMe, SSD card, which is actually, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually only 16 gigabytes. You could actually use something that's like 10, and all you're doing is you're installing your bootloader on that card, and then, you know, once that bootloader loads, then it recognizes the GPT hard disks and the, uh, you know, the partitioning layout uh, on those hard disks and is able to provide a menu for you to boot any of those operating systems that are actually installed. So um, that's how it works. And uh, I, I, I don't know, I think for, you know, you could possibly buy, uh, if you, you know, kind of, keep your eyes out you can possibly buy you know systems like this for probably around two on you know two hundred dollars or even less um you may need to you know possibly upgrade some things in them but usually the only things that really are um you know maybe wanting to be needed to upgrade is the you know the, the processors and, um, you know, behind the, you know, the processors alongside them is, you know, the memory is in here and you can, you know, get the USB cards and the video cards or whatever you want in it. Um, like I say, it's just basically just a, um, uh, to sh show that basically the, you know, base, the, the system is old, but it's not, um, completely obsolete you know it can be upgraded by just you know doing a few things to make it you know a fully usable system and um as it is basically these like were you know back in the day they were works you know commercial uh, uh built for um for you know enterprise environments so they're you know built pretty solid so basically this is you know aluminum um, on the side and, you know, maybe plastic on the top, but it's pretty much a lot more solid than, you know, most of the computers that are built today. 
um, and still has a lot of value, if, you know, if you um, build them right. But anyway, that's what it is. Um, HP Z Z600 running, you know, uh, Mac OS, Big Sur, and uh, Windows 10. Um, and I guess I would mention, I don't know if there's anybody that's more of an expert or, you know, has the expertise to actually get Bonnery running on uh, um, a Z600, but I couldn't because um, it would just give me an error saying that I needed to do a firmware update. And, and sometimes, you know, because of, you know, the nature of a Macintosh or a Hackintosh, sometimes, you know, you, you can spend a lot of time trying to figure out what, you know, <laughs> why that is. And so the thing is that um, um, unless somebody else knows how to do it, um, I was able to get basically, you know, Big Sur working on it, and that might be good enough for, for me or most people. Um, just like an old Macintosh, you know, might not be able to run anything more than like El Cap done because, uh, you know, it's no longer upgradable process or past that. And so, um, but anyway, uh, you know, feel free to uh, leave any feedback if you know anything about uh, maybe installing uh, Monterey on a, on a Z600. And uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks.